approximately 25,000 years ago, a slight uplift of land, now known as the Cadell Tilt Block, changed the course of the Murray. The area of the Southern Diversion is known as the Barma Choke and flows through the pristine Barma Millowa forests. We will take the Kingfisher Adventure Tour through this area. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard Kingfisher. My name's John. Now, as we're cruising along today, it's going to be difficult, but we'll make it. I'm going to tell you a little of the history of this area, how the area was formed. We talk just a bit about the Aboriginal life that took place here, and as we come across some of the bird life, I'll have a go at pointing that out as well. So the idea is today is for you to sit back and relax, enjoy yourselves, and if you have any questions while we're cruising along, just feel free to ask. The level of the river here is normally close to the top of the bank, but drought has lowered the level over a number of years, and the reeds and grasses have reclaimed the bank. The channel is narrow and steep through the choke and flows at around seven knots. Combined with low level, makes for difficult navigation through the snags. Now the first paddle steamer to ply these waters was the Lady Augusta. She came through here in 1854, captained by one Francis Cadell. A sea eagle watched us pass by and as we ventured further into the forest, Cormorants and herons were using the snags as vantage points for catching any unsuspecting fish that swam near. While we were busy watching the birds, another tight spot between the snags appeared and our captain deftly positioned the boat for a safe passage through. Not many people come up here at this river level. To our delight, a kingfisher appeared on the side of the bank. It was quite a climb onto the bank for a short walk through the Barma forest to what once was a swampy area. Returning to the boat, we were now in for an interesting ride downstream with the current and tested the skill of our guide. sea eagle was still there on our return. Our guide informed us it had a nest in a nearby tree. Boy that was close and that's really some snag. So on behalf of Kingfisher Cruises I'd like to thank you very much for coming out with us today if you've enjoyed yourself. We just love you to tell others. If you haven't enjoyed yourself today, you can let me know and please don't tell anyone else. 